Hey, Jim Ball here. Hey, we're here in the studio, and while I've got you here, let me ask you photographers a question. Have you ever been filming in low light photography, low light situations with your camera, uh, especially like doing night lapses, and you have your exposure too long, and your ISO set too high, and the next thing you know on review, you've got these nasty, pixelated little noise artifacts in your image. Well, today we're gonna to show you how to get rid of them. Hello everybody, this is Jim Baugh here at uh, Jim Baugh Outdoor Studios on the Chesapeake Bay. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to create something that I call a noise mask. Um, it could also probably be called an image mask. The uh, problem is when you're doing outdoor photography at night with some cameras that don't have noise cancellation technology, uh, if you run your ISO too high and your exposure too long, you will get little white noise uh, artifacts in your scene. Uh, this particular uh, shot here that we are looking at, we can take this off, um, is of course a nightscape and we'll go ahead and show that to you full screen and that's what it looks like these are of course stars but we also have some of these are actually noise artifacts in here that uh, we want to get rid of so we're going to we're going to create a mask now the first thing that you need to do and I've got it right here I'll show you you need to uh, take your camera the camera that you're going to be shooting on that is experiencing you know noise artifacts and you're going to put your lens cover on it and you're just going to roll, you know, a few seconds of video, and then you're going to bring it in here, and then you will into Premiere Pro, and we will just uh, still frame it right here. That's all you have to do is capture the image, and then you've got it. Now, once that you have this black image, what looks like a black image, Photoshop. There we go. Now we have this image in Photoshop, and these are actually. Uh, all of this white noise that you see here, this is noise generated from uh, actually the camera. And what we'll do is we're going to reverse out all of these specs uh, with black. And you can see that we have uh, also imported the other image, which is just a still frame from the video. And the purpose of this is to just mask all of this, uh, this noise. So I did call GoPro. You know, I got Nick Woodman on the phone, and uh, he says, Jim, send me a still. So I sent him the still, and then he said... Well, besides that, um, what else do you like about the camera? Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. And then um, I said a little bit like asking Mrs. Lincoln, besides that, how was the play? So anyway, no, I do not like this noise. Nobody does. Uh, cameras that have noise cancellation systems on them are wonderful. Um, this is just a Hero 4 that we're doing this night lapse with. And so I decided to come in here and create an image mask over top of this noise. Now, how we do that is, uh, I think, relatively relatively simple. We're going to go in and we're going to zoom in and just look at that beautiful, all those pixelated noise. And we're just going to do the select tool and we're going to select one little dot and then we're going to go select similar. So now it's going to fill as we pick this wonderful obnoxious color red here. We're going to fill all of that noise with, uh, well, with the color red temporarily. So we will go down to fill and yes we want to fill it 100% and now when we deselect you can see all of these red dots. They are all right there. An interesting note here on the Zero 4 camera, um, the noise here when it's cranked up to 800 ISO at a 30 at a 20 second exposure, which is what this is, um, the noise doesn't change. It's in the same spot all the time. That's how we're able to get away with this. So now what we're going to simply do is just take the select tool again and uh, we're just going to select the black and we're going to hit delete. Now look at that. It looks like because the select tool is on now, it looks like all those stars are <laughs> kind of twinkling. All right, now we're just going to deselect. Now you can see all of these red dots, okay? And those red dots um, are, you know, actually noise. So what we want to do, since you can notice the red, just like you could notice the white, we're going to go in and now we're going to change. See if we take the background, you just see nothing but little teeny red dots all over the place. Very, very, very small. Now, a lot of people might not actually detect this on the video, but we're kind of going for as close to perfection as we can. We spent a lot of time on these night lapses. So anyway, all we're going to do now is we're just going to reverse out again. We're going to hit the select tool like this. 
And now we're going to go back to select similar. Okay. And now instead of red, we're going to pick, we're actually, we're not, let's, not, let's do the color picker over here. I think would be a, a good idea for this. And uh, I'll, I'll show you why in a little bit. We'll zoom out. And we're going to come in about right here. And we're going to pick that color out of the sky. And then we're going to uh, it's, go back to fill. Now we're going to fill all of those dots. Okay. And now they're filled. Now I will hit deselect. Now you notice they're all gone. They're actually not gone, they're just masks. They're colors, basically the same color as the sky, so you just can't see them. What you're looking at now, these are actually uh, stars. That's, well, actually, that's Jupiter right there. Uh, but all these are legitimate stars. They're not noise uh, artifacts or, or anything, anything like that. So now we have our mask. Now, one other thing to note, when you come into some areas, <clears throat> you might have a little teeny specks of noise somewhere in here. And if you're putting black, the like the, all this is black dots as you can't see, uh, but in a luminance area like this, then you would see a little teeny, teeny speck of a black dot. So I have gone in and it's easy to do. You just go in and pick the adjacent color next to it. And also if you have 10 little artifacts in here, you just highlight each one of them and color them with the adjacent pixel and it becomes really basically invisible. Um, so this is, a, this is a really, really, really good trick. Now to re-import back into Premiere, your editor, we're going to, of course, deselect the background so that you just have this mask. Now you go ahead and save it and uh, then re-import it back into Premiere Pro, which we have already done. And uh, here it is right here. And we will turn it on and we'll show you how clean it looks. Go ahead and take it out full screen. And there you go. You really can't detect the mask at all. It, it becomes invisible. And that's about the length of that shot. And then it goes on. So this is just a really, really, really excellent trick in getting rid of, if you have noise, uh, the method of doing it this way is it really opens you up to do a whole lot of things. You can use this technique uh, for a variety of different effects that you're, you want to do in Premiere or if you want to mask something. It's easy to do. We pretty much, when we're editing, use Photoshop in tandem with, uh, with Premiere. And of course, they work very, very well together. Uh, so that's about it on how to create a noise mask. It works, it works excellent. It doesn't take that long to do. So if you're in the field and you ever have some troubling noise artifacts um, and you think your whole night's ruined it's not you can just come into post-production and uh, create a little mask like that and it does work very 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 well uh, it, depending on the background shot it, it, it can work 100 percent you know to satisfaction it just depends if you have a lot of lights and darks all in the same image you may have to spend a little more time coloring in some of the dots as opposed to just hitting a one solid black for all of them which is just what i did on on, on this one um but it really does give you satisfactory results um and uh give it a try hey go down in the comment section and uh you know tell us uh what you'd like to see us do and uh if uh if this was helpful to you and don't forget to hit the subscribe button thanks so much jim ball signing out for now